and here's the final part of this level before we get to the next supercomputer we gotta fight which is more harder more harder damn yeah. you can't you can't stop talking about sets can you Ronnie you remember those Transformer stickers? You'd rub them and you could see if they're good or bad? This looks like the good guys. Transformer face. <laughs> you said rub them. <laughs> and, uh... This is really going down the gun of this review, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Love Bunch Reviews. Snowfields! Oh, I love this level! <laughs> yeah, Snowfield, this level's pretty hard, though. Uh, you know what I hate is these grenades that come out of nowhere? Yeah, these freaking Echo Drugs bombs. I mean, who's throwing them? Like, coming out of nowhere. Someone invisible. Ninjas! Yeah. We're playing Contra Shinobi 3. But anyway. No, yeah, well, now you know how I feel whenever I'm I'm beating up on somebody on the battlefield and then Crazy Hand just starts dropping his bombs right over me. It's so damned annoying. Well, if you wouldn't well, be under to, where I'm trying to drop to... bombs, it wouldn't be a problem now, would it? Shut up, crazy hand. You could just watch out and be careful. Upgrade! Not much of an upgrade, just a rapid fire. Oh, well, better than nothing. Ugh. Oh. Bloody bombs! Watch out for the bombs. The bombs. Oh, thanks, Skip. Well, t technically, it's not really rapid fire. It just makes your shots travel across the screen faster. Yeah, it doesn't let me shoot faster, though, does it? Right. Well, in that, from a technical standpoint, it does in that... You can have more. You can only have so many shots on the screen, and if your shots leave the screen faster, you can fire faster. Can you get that, Ronnie? There you go. Right. Oh, this is a good gun. Oh yeah, that helped a lot. That that uh, eagle that blows everything up. It's an American yeah. eagle, isn't it? Oh, at this level you cannot fall in the water because it's ice water and kills you because it's too cold. And uh, and, and it turns it turns the players Titanic. hard when they fall in the water. Them. I have a Leonardo DiCaprio moment where they go, no! <laughs> oh, game over, Charlie. Oh, it's alright, I'll take one of your lives when you get one. Here we go. Hey, stop stealing my men. I'll stop, stop supplying them. <laughs> that is, we, I didn't ah, know. Now I, I like this bit. Uh, you can't jump over these bosses, you just have to go hard hammer and tongue on them, don't you? Tongue. tongue. Hammer and tong, you know, like Streets of Foyer. Streets of Foyer. You said fire. <laughs> oh. Alright, you got an extra man. You said skip purchase. Oh. As Skipper say, get the extra man. You always oh, need right. bullets. You always need bullets. You always need extra men. I'm glad you can't shoot each other too. That's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. It might it's be not, a bit messy. How many games you can though? It's kind of funny. Like uh, Devil Dragon 2, you can have a you can have an A mode and a B mode where like the B mode you can actually beat each other up. I'm not quite sure why you want to do that though. Yeah, I heard, I think like J-Man said in our Battletoads Let's Play, uh, just some countries like that for some reason, I don't know. Uh, that's, that, he was, he was speculating, he wasn't really sure about that, it's just, like, I don't know, I guess they just, they, I think what it, what it probably was is they, they were undecided as to whether or not it should be, and then they, so they just stuck it in an A mode and a B mode and the player could decide. And that would yeah. actually make a lot of sense because it was it was a new two player simultaneous was a new concept. So it's like, well, what do we do? Do we make it so you can damage each other? Is that really a good idea? And then it's just so yeah, we throw it to the players. Like, you know, you just yeah, that does make a whole lot of sense. But if memory serves me well, didn't you finish off the game after you've beaten the final boss? You have to kill each other to fight for the girl. No, yes. that was that was just in Double Dragon, and that was in Double Dragon One. Yeah, and I think it was only in the arcade, I think. No, oh well, yeah, maybe. I, well, I, I'm not sure. I think it was for the NES too, but I might be wrong. Yeah. It, sure, in the arcade. But, that, but then again, that's only if you play two players. Yeah. And we made short work of the level 5 boss, which is not that hard. If you have the laser gun, the spray gun, and it's two players. And now we're at level and 6. And th this, this is a pretty killer level. We, me and Crazy Hand will always play up to this level. Uh, the first time we actually made it here without losing any lives, we come here and then we lose all our lives. Oh man, we're, we're about to get game over. 
Charlie right into the fire. You're fired. Yeah. Oh, mate, my timing is impeccable. Streets of fire. Streets of fire. And that's all right. We've got two more continues. I think we'll make it through this game. Watch out. Oh, you almost got fired. Oh. Almost oh. fired. ECW. ECW. Come on. Jump down. Jump down. Ah! Oh! Wait a second, running up right there. There went, we go. Let's oh, go. You went the wrong way. Ah! Oh! Greenwich. Good try. All right, one more life left. Oh! Huh. <laughs> Got my mom. Here I go. Here I go again. Oh my. Haha, oh. uh -huh, y'all suck. Crazy hand, lay off. Here I go again. Alright. Why should I? They suck. They lost all their lives. Shut the fuck up, crazy hand. Yeah, uh, you tell them, crazy hand. Our second continue. I'm a master hand. <laughs> I always get you too confused. It's because the thumbs, you know, you got such similar thumbs. <laughs> yeah, but you should be able to tell which thumb is on which side. Yeah, yeah that's well, right! Crazy hand, take that's off! I would figure out my left and my right, that's all. Don't let the left hand know what the right hand's doing. Especially, especially this left hand. Hey, what's that we'll supposed to be? <laughs> Alright, oh, Charlie, I watch out for the fire. The fire could what kill you. Watch oh, out. that fire! Oh. Sure, Scotty's watching right now. Watch out for the fire, mate! <laughs> we should have got him to do commentary for this level. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, oh. oh. nearly. Thought I'd be a smart ass and get it in one row. <laughs> yeah. Yep, they did that time. Oh, ECW. Oh, you know it. Oh, the oh you took my upgrade! Oh, that's alright, I'm dead anyway. Got the body armor. No, I could've ran through this real quick, but, you know, I have to carry you. No, uh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh. Apparently we got an audience in the background watching. Um, hey, everybody watches low budget reviews. Okay, Even tough. kids. <laughs> Even five-year-old kids watch low-budget reviews. In you're, fact, that's your target audience, isn't it? Viewer discretion is invited. No, low-budget reviews is not target toward kids. At all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we wouldn't have we, you so wouldn't have me and Crazy Hand in this review if it were. Oh yeah, really. I know um, your kid loved uh, AVGN, especially that Jaguar episode where he. Uh, yeah, took a dump on uh, AV, AVG, I'm sorry, but AVG and what he said about the Jaguar, he said it was actually 64 bits and he was completely wrong. 232-bit no, processors two, are two not... 232-bit like processors are not a 64-bit processor. That's the thing. And Whoa, wait a minute. You mean the AVG was wrong? Oh, yeah. No. You no, know, they wait, talk about how Irate Gamer is wrong. Well, you know, and this just proves AVG can get wrong, too. And... Here's the boss of level six, <laughs> Big Man Vader, or I don't know what the heck this is supposed to be. Uh, this is easy. A guy who got blown up. Yeah, a guy got blown up. That's, that's the boss's name. And stage seven, the Hangar, or Hanger, Mike Hagger, whatever. Um, 